Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Howdy. Hey, Mr. Cordova. Hey, Mr. Luna, how's it going? Good, I think they're doing a, a live test at the moment. All right, Jim Ford, let me know when we're ready. Good afternoon, this is Principal Luna. Buenas tardes, soy el Director Luna. Welcome to the virtual community, community meeting for Nathan Adams, and thank you for joining us. Bienvenidos a la reunión comunitaria virtual de Nathan Adams, y gracias por estar aquí. I'd also like to thank our school board trustee, Dr. Edwin Flores, the project team, and our executive director, Mr. Juan Cordova, for joining us. También quiero darle las gracias a nuestro representante de la mesa directiva del distrito, el doctor Edwin Flores, el equipo del proyecto y nuestro director ejecutivo, el señor Cordova, por estar presentes hoy. I've had an opportunity to meet and work with the project team and I am very excited about the renovations to the school. He tenido la oportunidad de conocer y trabajar con el equipo del proyecto y estoy entusiasmado con las renovaciones de la escuela. Dr. Flores, would you like to say some words at this time, or do you want to close out the meeting at the end? Well, I'll just, I'll just wait to close out the meeting. Yeah, guys, go ahead. Thank you. Sounds good. Thank you, sir. At this time, I'd like to uh, pass it on to Mr. Matthew Heaton with the project team. Ahora con ustedes, el señor Matthew Heaton, on el equipo del proyecto. Thank you, Mr. Luna. It's my pleasure to be working with you in the district on this project. Uh, again, I'm Matthew Heaton. I'm with T. Howard and Associate Architects. I will be presenting the slide show and just to make sure if everyone can see our screen, this is the existing Nathan Adams front entry of the school. We are looking to do a renovation project we're going to go through the project scope, uh, some floor plans, um, proposed exterior, proposed interior renderings, just to give everybody an idea of what the project entails and includes. So quick bullet points, uh, exterior and interior renovation items. 
uh, for this project. We're going to be replacing all the exterior windows throughout the facility. Now, when I say throughout the facility, I just want to specify throughout the older portion, there was an addition that we actually worked on a couple of years ago that was going to be remaining intact. We're going to provide a new front entry canopy at the main entrance to the school. We're going to replace the existing ADA ramp to relocate it under the new entry canopy. Uh, we're replacing concrete paving uh, as required around the site to repair damaged areas, uh, damaged concrete, sidewalks, uh, and such. We're going to replace the asphalt play area in the back with concrete for the district standards. We're going to add concrete paving at the dumpster drive to widen, widen the drive, providing an enclosure of recycling dumpsters, uh, replacing the existing marquee sign with a new LED sign. Uh, all exterior painted surfaces will be repainted and then we're replacing all the exterior site lighting with LED. Similar to the inside, uh, we're going to create a new secure front entry vestibule, new reception area, principal's office. Uh, we're going to re be replacing carpet and VCT flooring at areas uh, that have them as a repair item. So where there's VCT, we're replacing it with VCT. Where there's carpet, we're replacing it with carpet. We're going to paint all the previously painted interior surfaces, uh, replace all interior lighting with LED fixtures, uh, replacing, updating the fire alarm system, and various mechanical and plumbing items in the facility. This is the floor plan to move forward. This is the, uh, the floor plan. The highlighted areas are just kind of identifying the main areas of the renovation, all areas of the school on the interior and exterior um, that are currently painted will be repainted, receive a fresh coat of paint. Uh, these areas help to identify a lot of the flooring work that's gonna happen in the school. So the administrative wing, the classrooms uh, are the main areas for flooring replacement. This enlarged front entry view will help to identify the location of the canopy. You can see the dashed line on your screen. Um, and then the new ramp that is now gonna be located under the canopy, leading to a new front entry vestibule. This is gonna create a secure front entry vestibule, a better entry process that helps lead visitors to the school directly into the reception area, the admin uh, offices, and then put new principal's office will be there as well. So we're gonna move on to the exterior view. This is a view coming up to the main entry, showing the new canopy that we are gonna be putting out front and you can see the ramp on the left side. The design of the canopy, uh, the repetitive columns kind of pulls off the existing design of the school with some of the structural columns that you see around the school. Uh, it creates a covered entry, kind of protected entry that leads right up to the new vestibule. Any exterior work is going to be done to match the existing uh, facade, the existing materials on site. We're also bringing in the finishes that were done as part of the addition that we previously mentioned a couple of years ago. Those finishes are going to be brought in. So colors of the coping uh, those materials will be brought into the older portion of the school that is the main area of the renovation. An interior materials board lets you see some of the materials, um, painting all the interior door frames, the interior walls, uh, classrooms, everything is going to be repainted. Again, we're bringing a lot of the colors that exist in the school and were brought in as part of the addition. Now they're gonna be uniform throughout the project. It gives it a chance to really pull the school together, upgrade the existing facility. This is a look from within the secured vestibule area, looking towards the office. Uh, guests will now enter into the secured vestibule, be able to be buzzed into the school, and then have to enter into the reception area uh, where they can check in and be released into the rest of the school, creating a safer entry. <clears throat> the new entry, vestibule, carpet flooring, uh, reception area, you can see here, uh, we're going to have new LED lighting throughout the school that's shown in this rendering. You also see the window in the back that will be replaced as part of the project. We'll have new windows throughout the project. 
This is a view of the corridor. Now the flooring I want to point out is an alternate on this project. All the VCT carpet flooring that we mentioned before is focused mainly to classroom areas, office areas, but as an alternate, uh, as part of the project, we put it in that we're going to try to have it included in the corridor as well. Bring some of the colors that were done in the addition again into this area uh, with a little bit of color at the intersections from the different corridors. Uh, you also see new LED lighting and then again repainting all the interior painted surfaces just to refresh the material. So painted surfaces includes the walls, ceilings, columns, uh, existing door frames and such. This view will show you in a typical classroom, uh, new VCT flooring, you'll see new aluminum windows, storefront windows as part of the project, new solid surface window sill, all of the existing windows are going to be pulled out the sill and replaced with new. You also see an accent wall color here for the main teaching wall. Uh, this wall uh, color, again, we had an accent wall as part of the previous edition, kind of incorporating that design, bringing it throughout the facility. And that in, kind of wraps up the presentation part. And this is the website for any questions. And so then I'll hand it back over to you. Thank you, Mr. Heaton. Once again, if uh, the public would like to ask any questions, uh, the portal to do that is www.dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015 questions. So we have one question. Uh, will heating AC units in the old wing be replaced or repaired? There are particles blowing out of the units. Uh, yes, the unit ventilators that are in the older portion of the school are included in this project. Most all of the unit ventilators are going to be replaced as part of the project. Thank you. Once again, I'd like to remind if the public is watching on Facebook, you can also ask questions in the comment section in Facebook. Mr. Heaton, what is the project timeline? The uh, goal of the district is to have the project go in front of the board in August. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody from the district side would like to jump in and comment on that, but um, just to give a more specific timeline, but the goal is to go in front of the board in August uh, and then in November or October, but I believe, I believe it's November, move forward with construction over the following year. This is Don Smith, that is correct, Matthew. Mr. Heaton, you said that <clears throat> Um, it will be going in front of the board in August, and then once it is approved, it will take a full year to get that going or to complete the project. Uh, once construction starts, the current schedule is for a year. What kind of impact will it have on regular school? Most of the projects like these, what tends to happen is it's a work back and forth with the contractor who will eventually win the job. Uh, window replacement projects, not all the windows come out at one time and get replaced at one time. What will end up happening is they'll you know, pick a point, maybe possibly the main entrance, and they'll work their way around the building. 
So the effect to the school will be uh, in coordination with Mr. Luna, uh, but it will be on a window by window uh, basis. So they'll pull out a window, board that one up, move on to the next one. And then the goal is as they're moving down, the new windows are following right behind and being replaced. A lot of the interior flooring items such as that uh, will typically be planned when the kids aren't in, in school in session. Thank you. I have another question. Where can we view the presentation if anyone missed it? So the presentation will be repeated and will be posted at www.dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015 meetings. Once again, that's www.dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015 meetings. There was a question about students being displaced during the construction. And uh, I'd just like to reiterate what Mr. Heaton said. The team, the project team and I work very closely to make sure that the impact is minimal um, so that school is not disrupted. Mr. Heaton, while we're waiting for uh, additional questions, can you tell us a little bit about um, the PA system and what's going to happen with that? Yes, yeah, so as part of the project, you will uh, get a new PA system that is gonna be installed, new call um, switches at the uh, classrooms, new speakers will be installed throughout the facility. Uh, and then the office will have access to a PA system to make the normal announcements, uh, just like normal. It's just going to be upgraded as part of the project. Mr. Heaton, we have a few community members that joined us late. Um, if you would, please. Do us the favor of um, repeating the presentation one more time, just so that we make sure that everyone has an opportunity um, to learn about the renovations at Nathan Adams. It would be my pleasure. Let me just. Reset the slideshow back to the beginning. Just for simplicity, I'm going to flip back through the project, through the slides, excuse me. Everybody can still see we're going to jump right to the project scope. We'll run through again some of the main items. Uh, I'll try to hit every item since, again, you said that some of the community member, members uh, may have missed it the first time. Uh, but the main part of this project really is the windows on the exterior side. We're going to place all the exterior windows. And again, I uh, mentioned this earlier, but it's all the windows of the older portion of the building. Obviously the new windows that were done with the addition will remain in place. The design, the style of all the windows will be matching the new windows as far as the storefront look and the, the uh, appearance. Uh, we're gonna create a new front entry canopy that will lead to the main entrance and replace the ADA ramp. The current ADA ramp location is outside of where the canopy is. So we're gonna be relocating that ADA ramp. So it's now underneath the new canopy that we are creating. Uh, replace concrete paving as required. Again, this means that damaged areas uh, around the school sidewalk, we are going to replace uh, the asphalt play area currently on the east side of the school will be replaced with concrete. Uh, we're going to be adding concrete paving to the dumpster drive, make that a little bit wider access. New, oh, excuse me, lost. Or this slide, uh, providing closure for existing 
the existing recycling dumpster. That existing dumpster isn't in the enclosure, so we're gonna enclose that over in that same area as part of the project. Uh, the existing marquee sign out front, we're gonna replace with the new LED sign that the front office will have control over. Um, all the exterior painted surfaces will be repainted. And then the exterior site lighting um, will be replaced with LED fixtures. For the interior portions, new secure, new secure front entry vestibule, new reception and principal's office, creating a better entry into the school. Um, we're gonna replace carpet and VCT flooring with like materials uh, at areas such as the offices, the classrooms. We're gonna paint all the previously painted interior surfaces, this includes walls, ceilings, and such, uh, door frames, things like that. Replace the interior lighting throughout with LED fixtures. Uh, and then the fire alarm in the building will be replaced as well as various mechanical equipment. This includes the unit ventilators that came up as a question before. We'll jump through. <coughs> A little too far. All right. The floor plan shows the main areas of the flooring replacement. Uh, the interior and exterior painting, like I mentioned, is going to be at all areas where there are existing painted surfaces. They will receive new paint. Um, this plan helps to identify some of the admin classroom areas, especially classroom areas where the flooring will be replaced. Again, VCT will be replaced with VCT, carpet with carpet. The admin and principal's uh, layout at the new front entry you can see here, this new vestibule creates a better entry point. The existing school, you are led directly through the front doors into the corridor. With this new layout, you will come into the vestibule and be directed into the reception area. Um, where you can check into the school and be released into the rest of the facility. You can see the canopy here, the outline of the canopy and the new ramp also is on that path leading up to the new entry. Show the new proposed canopy. Um, the canopy design took cues from the surrounding uh, existing buildings, but it also took use from the existing trees on site, kind of that repetitive uh, shape leading up to the main entry. You can see kind of the, the trunk and the branches that here branch out from that. Exterior materials are going to be matching the exterior materials currently on site. So brick where there has to be some brick repair or any uh, new brick on site will match the existing brick. Paint is going to match the existing. So where there's handrails on site, you can especially look over at the new addition. Those colors will be brought through the rest of the school. So the colors of those handrails will be brought into the rest of the school. Uh, interior colors, paint, um, will be throughout. So we'll have a filled paint, you see a darker paint at the door frames, uh, and then an accent paint. This will be shown again in a second when we get to the interior classroom uh, rendering. We also see the carpet, VCT uh, in the upper right hand corner. Those two colors in the upper right hand corner are the typical VCT that will be everywhere. The accent colors that are just below that we'll see in a rendering here in just a minute are part of an alternate in the corridors. We'll bring some of those colors in at the intersections. So this rendering is the view leading from the entry vestibule leading into the reception area. You can see the new storefront there, the door leading into the reception area. So it creates that secure entry way, that path of travel where people are now going into the vestibule and then directed towards the reception area. Moving in, you get to the reception area, reception desk, uh, door there in the back leads directly to the principal's office and waiting area. The new LED lighting, new, uh, new windows, 
throughout the school, you can see that in that rendering. And then the corridor, uh, again, we mentioned before, the corridor flooring was not originally part of the scope. We're putting this in as an alternate, replacing flooring at major office classroom locations. And as an alternate, we're putting it here in the corridor. Uh, the colors that you see here, some of the colors that are existing in the addition are brought into the corridor intersections in a little bit more subtle way uh, with some of the pixelation at the intersections of different corridors. And then again, new LED fixtures, repainting all interior surfaces. And then a typical classroom, uh, you see the new windows, new solid surface seal, all of that comes out as part of the project. When they're replaced, new windows will go in, uh, new LED lighting in the facility. You see an accent wall that we're adding into the classroom, new VCT flooring. See a little bit of the color in the background, the darker kind of pixelation coming from that back wall. And then again, for any questions. I think I saw a question Mr. Eaton, uh, come up. Sorry, Mr. Loon, go ahead. Will the uh, new windows be operational? Meaning, will they be able to be opened? The new windows as part of this project are gonna be fixed. And Mr. Heaton, just in case somebody missed it, will you repeat the timeline for us, please? Yes, so the timeline is the project, once it goes out to bid, the goal is to be presented in front of the August uh, school board. Once the contractor is selected, approved uh, at the August school board, the hope is that they will start around November. And then over the course of that next year, be working on the construction of the project to complete it. And then uh, just to go through one of the other questions that I know typically comes up again, uh, it was asked earlier about the students being displaced. Uh, we'll just reemphasize that uh, with the window replacement projects, the way the contractors will work is they will typically work around the building. All of the windows don't usually come out at one time and then go back in at one time. So they work around so any disruptions to the school is usually minimum on a classroom by classroom basis as they work around, windows will be pulled out, repaired, new windows installed right behind it as they work their way around the building. That would be the goal. So that, again, the contractor will work closely with Mr. you, Mr. Luna, um, to minimize any disruptions. I have a question, Mr. Heaton, regarding safety measures and uh, specifically what safety measures will be in place regarding COVID-19. You may or may not be able to answer that, but. Uh, the specific uh, safety measures for COVID-19, I believe I would defer to the district for any changes. I'm not sure if the question is specifically talking about the construction or uh, school operations. Sure, and I, I can probably provide a little bit of a general answer, which is um, the guidelines that the district puts out to the schools will uh, be followed 100%. And so 
always, always, always safety is most important um, to us with regard to um, students and any visitors. This is Don no, Smith. The, uh, the construction workers will be wearing masks. They uh, will also have on their typical hard hat and their vest. They will have a hand washing station that they're provided to use. Uh, anytime that we have any positive uh, COVID-19, we, we have a process that we go through. We bring in an environmental team that comes in and sprays. Um, so we do a lot of work. We have our safety uh, director uh, who comes in, Alvaro Meza, that verifies everybody is abiding by the uh, state and uh, state laws and also the district policies that we have put in place. So uh, I feel very confident we're currently doing that in other schools currently. So uh, it's being checked on a daily basis. So I, I feel very positive uh, that we'll be abiding by the COVID-19 policies. Thank you, sir. The next question is, will the principal's office have a lavatory? Also, will the clinic have a handicap accessible lavatory? Uh, the clinic currently has a lavatory. We're not renovating that as part of the project. The location and everything will stay in place. Uh, Mr. Luna, your current office had a private lavatory, a toilet room as part of the new entry we have to remove that to create that better path for the vestibule to lead directly into the reception office. Uh, we are putting one back, but it's not gonna be a private uh, toilet room. It will be accessible off the corridor uh, so that any of the staff could use it. And then if you needed to direct any visitors, it would be available as well. With regard to the window replacement, will all the windows, including the ones facing courtyards be replaced? Yes, all the existing uh, windows in the older portion of the building, including the courtyards will be replaced. The one exception to that, I, I believe all the windows uh, are older. There was some work done at different points in time. So any of the windows that are older and not insulated are gonna be replaced. The windows that were replaced a couple of years ago as part of the addition uh, project, those all stay. But specifically for the courtyard windows, yes, those are going to be included in the project. We have a question regarding uh, student displacement, specifically when classrooms are painted and when air conditioners heaters are replaced. And so I just want to assure our parents and community, the students um, will not be impacted in terms of being displaced from classrooms and any interruptions to learning. The project managers work very, or the team works very closely with me to ensure that um, disruptions are, are minimized. And just to speak specifically, uh, the contractor would not turn off the conditioning of the building while students are in there. Some of the work, for a lot of the work will happen after hours when students are not on campus, uh, it'll be organized in such a way so that we create minimal impact, or I should say the contract will be creating minimal impact. So a lot of that will be on scheduling. While the students are there, uh, work likely will not be taking place. It will be happening on off hours. This is Don Smith again. I would say the majority of the painting and air conditioning would be done nights and weekends. And a lot of holiday work will be going on, especially the time that we start this project. But this is typical in how we do renovations in most of the schools at Dallas Independent School District. Okay, so once again, I want to thank everyone for joining us this evening. We value community input. Your questions have been excellent. Uh, once again, if you would like to view 
the presentation. It'll be available at www.dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015 meetings. Trustee Flores at this time, uh, if you would like to close the meeting for us, I'd welcome you to do that, sir. Great, thank you. And I wanna thank everybody for joining us today for this meeting. Uh, I wanna thank, uh, of course, the, the, the faculty staff of the school for having had a great school year. I wanna thank the program managers and you know whoever ends up doing the work on this project for being there for us. But uh, mostly I wanna thank the taxpayers. The taxpayers uh, trusted us uh, to do a great job with the 2015 bond, uh, to continue the, the work that we did in the 2008 bond, which was on time and actually ahead of budget uh, in every aspect. We ended up doing about $60 million extra worth of work that what we, versus what we had planned in the original 2008 bond and the 2015 bond is shaping up to be uh, about the same. So thank you to the taxpayers for supporting this work, the critical health and safety work that's gonna go on here. Uh, at Nathan Adams, including you know, the, the, the fire alarm and the systems, and then of course, <clears throat> the interior so that it's a great place and a great learning environment uh, for the students. Este, buenas tardes, mi nombre es Edwin Flores, yo los represento en la mesa directiva del Distrito Independiente Escolar de Dallas. Es un placer tenerlos aquí para esta presentación, espero que hayan aprendido mucho de lo que va a pasar en la escuela, sus estudiantes, claro, van a, van a estar seguros en toda la escuela, van a ir a sus clases y la mayoría del trabajo va a ocurrir de noche y en los fines de semana y durante pues, los días festivos. Entonces este, va a ser un muy buen proyecto. Tenemos un gran director en su escuela. Este, eh, la gente que nos está ayudando con la construcción también este, son de la primera clase y les damos las gracias a ellos también por el trabajo que van a hacer en esta escuela como parte del bono del 2015. Uh, thank you very much. Buenas noches. Once again, for information on this and other bond projects, 2015 bond projects, please visit www.dallasisd.org forward slash bond 2015. Again, thank you for joining us. We appreciate you taking the time. Have a great evening, everyone.